Okay guys, so we're here at the shop this afternoon. It's uh, just after five o'clock on Friday afternoon. And we got the uh, rear end job done on the truck. Uh, let me show you what we got, got here. So here's my new rear end. As you can see here, it's a 373 uh, gear ratio. And we got the shafts rebuilt. He did put new uh, uh, U joints, the U joints in both shafts. And then he also went ahead and rebuilt both shafts. Right up here, you can see where the uh, shafts have new slip joints in here. Right there, I guess we can't really see it, but right up in there is the slip joint. And that's all uh, sealed. So it, this this particular shaft doesn't require greasing. It's all, the, the grease is already packed in the slip joint, so you don't have to, to grease it again, as well as the U-joint. The U-joint already has grease in it and it has a special seal right here on the cup so that the grease can't escape. That way it's all just sealed and you, you just leave it. You don't have to service it at all. Uh, this truck's gone a long time with the, the original shafts and so it, uh, it's, it's running a lot better. I, I took it for a test drive down the street and uh, all of the vibration I had in the shaft is gone. The rear shaft also rebuilt. This whole piece right here from here forward up to the mail end is all brand new as well of course they put them on the uh, lathe after they built it and they uh, you know balanced everything so that's what's causing this truck to drive a whole lot nicer a whole lot smoother now so i'm real pleased with the job the guys did a great job for me uh, like i said the other on the last video these these rear end jobs it don't it's not rocket science it don't take a whole lot to do it but the guys did a fine job doing it getting it in getting it all sealed up and Got shafts in this afternoon, so we're uh, we're ready to put this truck back on the road and go make some money. And I'm almost done with doing the tape job on the trailer. As you can see, I got my new uh, reflective tape on the size of this trailer. Of course, as I said yesterday, I did this left side yesterday. <clears throat> and I even went to the trouble. I got my side box here to keep all my straps in. Put a little tape right there just to make the DOT all fuzzy inside when they see my truck anything to make yourself as noticeable as possible as if people can't see a 18 wheeler going down the road they gotta have tape all over it but hey that's how the law says and that's how we gotta do so you can see my new tires i bought a couple weeks ago on here this is a uh, general ra right there general ra this is an 11r 24.5 there's really two types of tire sizes that we run on these semis. One, well, four types, really. You got uh, 22.5, you got 24.5. And then within each, you have a low pro, which would be the, I think, the 275R. Uh, and then you have the uh, 11R, which is the, the tall timber, as I call it. And these are the, uh, these are the 11R uh, tires. That's the biggest semi tire, really, you run on a semi. So hopefully we'll get some good wear out of those. As you can see, I got my tape across the back here. I still got to do the redo the bumper, although it doesn't look bad. I might just leave the bumper as it is. I'll see how it does. The bumper actually has a bit of a bend in it right there, and that's why this mud flap sits outside the bumper. There's not a whole lot of space right in here, and I don't want the mud flap to rub up against the tires when we're going down the road. So I'm almost done with the passenger side here, the right side of the trailer. I still got to finish taping here. I'm about to, uh, I got the front half done already. So I just got to finish up this. And then I think tomorrow after tomorrow morning, I'm going to come out to the shop. We'll have to load up the, the rear end that they pulled out of the semi and put on my tray. And I'm going to carry it back to the house, keep it for a core, keep it for a spare. You never know. And then this here, I don't know if I've shown you guys this, my ladder I bought here a while back. I got it parked up there on that bar on the back of the cab. I love that little ladder. As I get a little older, I have a little harder time getting on top of these loads and getting on top of the trailer too. So, and that ladder, what it does is it fully collapses down like that, but it, it, it goes out so you can make it much bigger. You can even make it an extension ladder as well. So, like I said, as I get older, I find that I need a ladder to they get on top of the lows, especially the, you know, the tarp them and so forth.
So that's what we did today. I'm back here at the house now in the office. Uh, headquarters of Center Hill Trucking. <laughs> Had a pretty good day today. We got everything taken care of. Truck is pretty well ready to go back on the road. Tomorrow morning, I meet with a group of guys while I'm at home, usually on Saturday morning up at the church. But uh, after I go to that and eat breakfast at Patty's, we'll go back over to the truck or the shop and do a few other little things. I got grease the front end and put a little grease on the fifth wheel and whatnot and get it hooked back up to the trailer and get ready to go Monday. But that's uh, that's been my week pretty much this week, just dealing with the rear end job. And uh, so I would anticipate starting next Monday, we'll, we're going to be back on the road full time throughout the month of August. Uh, the market is still hot right now in terms of freight market. There's a lot of freight out there, and it's paying premium dollars. So I need to, I need to be out there running as, as as much as I can to make the money because you know the trucking business is a cyclical business, uh, and within each category, you know, division type of equipment in the business, you have different cycles as well. So right now, while the getting's good, I need to get it because in the future, generally it slows down in November and December and into January. And then starting up in February and March and April, we haul the nursery again. We're doing pretty good with that. So <clears throat> that's all we got for today, guys. So y'all have a blessed day. And I wish each and every one of y'all a good night. And uh, stay tuned to another episode of Tennessee Charter. <laughs>